right, welcome into today's video where we're gonna talk all about getting you more comfortable with your barbell. And this is great for those that are beginners with a barbell. Those are great for those that have maybe have um, moved away from, let's say, the treadmill and the bicycle and they start leaning towards more weightlifting, all right? Um, I'm doing this video because I just did a podcast on um, with Dr. Jenny as she talked a lot about how aging adults are now in this, um, this era or this decade is starting to lean more towards weightlifting because they see that not only for the bone density improvement, the muscle um, improvement, the metabolism getting more speed up, the results are a lot better, and also the longevity of your transformation are gonna be substantially a lot better as well. So overall amazing benefits as we merge over into weightlifting, not ripping on any cardio. Cardio is phenomenal um, for your cardiovascular system, but keep in mind you can actually get that while weightlifting as well. And that's why we kill two birds with one stone when we are going more towards the weightlifting. Lifting. So I'm glad you're here today as we really focus on how we can now help you become a master at the barbell and starting feeling really comfortable. So maybe you've been at the gym and you see the equipment, but you're not sure how to like really lift it up or move it to the next spot or, you know, really feel comfortable. So this video is talking all about that to really show you three specific tips on how you're able to really do um, certain exercises using these three tips and you'll be a pro. Okay, so the first rule of thumb is how much weight you lift at the beginning. It is absolutely essential you start with light weight. And I know you hear that all the time maybe, but it's very important if you're starting out because if you're doing the wrong form, you obviously increase your chance of injuries substantially because you have to make sure that you're having that muscle connection, which I'll talk about in just a second, starting with lighter weight and utilizing the correct forms that we're gonna be doing today is definitely key. So if you're starting off, don't grab your, your bar with a bunch of weight. Let's start with just a four foot, four pound barbell so we can get comfortable with that first, okay? So that's number one tip of the day. Number two tip of the day is learning your angles. Uh, this is gonna be very key, very key as you start to learn the fundamentals of your body as you're starting to go into weightlifting. And you're actually gonna love it because the angles is really gonna improve your posture and give you an overall sense of confidence as you're walking throughout the day. As you can see, I hold myself very upright. You can see that I have this very confident composure about myself, and I blame that all because of weightlifting. It taught me to really carry myself like this because of the angles you have to keep in the certain form. So you'll notice that, that you will definitely pick that up and overall just have an amazing demeanor about yourself moving forward. So. Um, and the third tip is muscle connection. I'm gonna teach you today about how to really activate certain muscles and feel them first without uh, just going through the movement, okay? Let's go into step three. Let's go into muscle connection. I'm gonna kind of bounce around here for a second. So with your light bar, um, just go ahead and grab your bar with me now and you're gonna place your hands about shoulder distance apart so that your hands are just on the outside of your legs. And from here, you can see my stance. I have about a hip distance stance. My knees are slightly bent and I'm feeling, feeling grounded in this position. My core is tight, my shoulders are pulled back and my spine is straight. You never wanna work out like this, okay? So always keep that head nice and straight. From here, I want you to utilize no muscles in this, just as, a, as an experience here, an experiment. And I want you just to only use like your joints and your ligaments by getting that bar up. Just focus on just bringing the bar up, doing a bicep curl, but try not to activate any muscles whatsoever. Yes, you're using muscles, but on a very low scale, okay? You're not really connecting to them. You're just kind of bringing the bar up. Now what I want you to do is I want you at the bottom, slightly bend those elbows, and I want you to think about squeezing the biceps. Really focus on squeezing. I'm not squeezing your hands per se, right? Um, it's really about focusing on the muscles. Now maybe what you have to do for that is bring your elbows into your rib cage, just kind of tuck them in and squeeze those biceps right there. Now as you bring it up, I want you to slowly do it, squeezing the whole way. Stopping about right here because you're gonna lose the activation right here. So squeezing still right here, and then you're just gonna slowly do it and still squeezing the whole way down. Oh my gosh, can you feel that burn? Okay, let's do it again. 
squeeze all the way up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're like literally just taking every muscle fiber in there and just getting everything out of it that you can. Whew. Literally, I felt like a workout and it was four pounds, right? Keeping that same thing that I just taught you there in every single thing that we do now, okay? You can do the movement by just thinking about your joints and your ligaments doing it, or you can really focus on really activating the muscle and pulling it from there, okay? And that will triple your results, okay? Now let's go ahead and dive into some angles, okay? So go back onto the second tip, um, and then we'll be done here, and I'm gonna show you some exercises. First thing, you're getting used to the barbell. The one thing I'm gonna show you is how to do a clean and press. And um, it is way amazing if you're working at home or for the gym, I'm gonna give you those tips. The first tip is where you're picking up that barbell. So let's say it's on a stand or let's say it's on the ground but it's this far away from you. If you pick it up at this angle, look at the torque. You have to imagine what is gonna be affected here if I'm pulling from this angle, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna walk up to the bar so now that your center of gravity is now able to take it so your legs are gonna be the emphasis or your shoulders or something like that rather than your low back, okay? So always walk up to the item and pick it up with a center of your gravity. From there, again, your center of gravity, have your hands on the bar so about um, shoulder distance apart, your feet are grounded, your knees are slightly bent, your core is tight and your shoulders are pulled back and your spine straight. Again, I always kind of say, your boobs up, butt down. That's how we pick things up. <laughs> and that goes for everything, right? Check it out. Deadlifts, we go into squats, like my boobs are always up, okay? So never are you wanting to do this, okay? Staying away from any of that. So first thing, clean and press. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Now you have to keep, the, t the, the secret is, is you have to keep the bar again as close to your body as possible so you don't put any torque on your back. So if we do that, what it looks like is you're literally bringing those elbows straight up to the ceiling and you get to this point, okay? Now, common mistake I see is they keep the elbows down and they do it like that, but look, you're pulling the bar away from your body. Again, that's torquing on your low back. And it's fine for four pounds, but what happens if we add 40, 70, 240? Like that's a big difference there, right? So, again, elbows straight up to the ceiling, that bar really close to your body. You can't go any further. You stop right here at the chest and the elbows are over the bar. Okay, you doing it with me? Good. Next one, you're gonna now flip the elbows underneath the bar and that is now the perfect position for you to press and put it over your shoulders. Simple as that. But if you do that, you're gonna become a pro at getting that bar anywhere you want to go. Okay, so again, that is the tips. When you bring it down, you bring it back down to your chest, the elbows are underneath, but when it's at your chest, elbows come up over it, and you bring it close to your body. Again, the key there, always close to your body. If you're lazy, you're gonna do this, okay? And that's just gonna put you in bad habit. So, make sure you're always in good habit. Next, let's go ahead and go into some angles here. Um, so for example, one of the common mistakes I see a lot is that the back ends up having its own flexibility, which we want to try to avoid because any time that we add additional movement in, in the wrong areas, it takes out of the fulcrum of movement we want to keep focusing on. So I'm just gonna give you an example here. I'm gonna do what's called a Romanian deadlift where my, le my knees are slightly bent and I'm going into this deadlift where I'm stopping here at my shins and I'm coming back up. I want you to just to watch this form. Look at my angles. In these angles, you see a straight line. Run from my head to my booty. A straight line from my booty to my knees and then my knees to my feet. Okay, straight lines, three straight lines. What happens when I do this? I don't have any more straight lines, do I? <laughs> so now uh, the angles are now taken out of the position and I'm gonna be going into back and then butt, okay? And that's not what we want. We wanna make sure that we're focusing all into the glute section for here, okay? So again, straight spine, watch your angles. Really focus on them. Feel which muscles should be utilized here. Okay? Awesome. Now, next position is um, a squat. 
a common mistake I see with the squat is people just think, oh, do nothing but squat. <laughs> And what happens here is you see, my butt just went down, but my knees are clear over my toes. And I'm very quad dominant right now. Like I can feel my quads literally on fire. Now, if you're trying to be quad dominant, okay, go ahead and, and focus on just building your quads the whole time. But it also is gonna put a lot of pressure on your knees. So I highly recommend going the route of a proper squat, sending your butt back. Again, chest up, butt down, that's how we pick things up, okay? so. Same thing, kind of get a feel for that. Notice that my head is not in these like crazy positions here. My head is straight with the alignment of my spine and that is the perfect feeling going back into my heels, stepping up through my heels and really feeling my glutes activating. Okay, awesome. And the last one I'll teach you here about angles is in the deadlift. Sorry, deadlift hip thrust is what I meant. So when you come into a hip thrust, your emphasis here is all into the glutes. This one it's okay to have your head kind of tipped here, but again, you wanna to try to think of only your three angles. So you've got the butt, okay? You got a straight line that's coming from your butt up here to your shoulders, and that's doing the movement. Common mistake I see is, is this. The butt comes back, it tips in, it comes up, and then it comes up and that's all into your low back, right? So you wanna stop here and then come straight up. You don't wanna go into this like weird spaghetti angle, like weird movement, right? So take any spaghetti movement out and again, focus on very linear straight movements, okay? So spaghetti out straight form, like very robotic form is angles you wanna get. So hopefully that helped you today on really perfecting your form with that barbell and becoming more and more comfortable and used to it. I challenge you to practice with just the bar itself. You can post in the Facebook group and say, hey, check out my form, does this look okay? And I'm gonna go, hey, are you feeling the right muscles working, right? And, and if you say yes, then you're doing it okay. So good job, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm excited to see you in the other videos. Bye. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.